Hi, and welcome to Verisk's Emerging Issues. My name is Greg Scabletti, a researcher and writer with Verisk's Emerging Issues team. Today, I'll be reading our article from July 26, titled Underground Climate Change, Termites, and Concrete Cancer May Threaten Property Across the U.S. Let's get started. The climate crisis has its share of visible signposts, like retreating glaciers and ice caps or rising sea levels. But new research suggests that the impact of rising surface temperatures and the proliferation of urban infrastructure may have profound consequences for a largely invisible climate beneath our feet. While it may not be immediately obvious, buildings and other infrastructure, like subways or sewer pipelines, can warm up the ground around them and under them. Rising surface temperatures may also contribute to ground warming, as the buildings around them absorb this heat and then transfer it to surrounding soils. Some have characterized this as, quote, underground climate change, and, like the above ground variety, it may pose a serious concern to property across the United States. Using sensor data collected from several locations in Chicago, researchers from Northwestern University were able to reconstruct ground temperature variations from 1951 through today. They also modeled how underground temperatures could evolve through 2051. The simulation suggested that warmer subsurface temperatures could trigger ground swelling and expansion of up to 12 millimeters. It may also cause the ground to contract and sink beneath the weight of surface infrastructure by up to eight millimeters. While these potential deformations may not trigger sudden building collapses, the researchers warned that it could have long-term consequences for the, quote, serviceability of structures and infrastructure. That's in part because modern infrastructure and property was not necessarily designed to accommodate ground deformations caused by rising subsurface temperatures. Indeed, the researchers cautioned that some structural damage that was previously chalked up to design issues may, in fact, be partially exacerbated by these unseen forces of underground climate change. Whether buildings risk sinking into contracting soil or are threatened by swelling and expanding soil depends on the kinds of soil they're sitting on, the researchers noted. Soft and stiff clay may contract when heated, while hard clay, sand, and limestone will expand. One apparent cause of underground climate change is the diffusion of heat trapped in underground structures, parking garages, subway tunnels, etc., out into the surrounding soils and rock. The researchers noted that temperatures in these structures can be as much as 25 degrees Celsius higher than undisturbed ground temperatures. While a cause for concern, the researchers noted that this heat could potentially be trapped and used as a resource to heat the buildings above them rather than escape into and deform the ground around them. If trapping and using this heat is impractical, the researchers also suggested thermally insulating these structures to prevent heat leakage into the surrounding soils. Other urban areas appear to be sinking, not because of underground climate change, but because groundwater has been removed or otherwise lost beneath them. These so-called sinking cities include New York, which is reportedly sinking at a rate of one to two millimeters a year, and parts of Tampa, Florida, which are losing ground at a rate of up to six millimeters a year. Rising surface temperatures may place additional stresses on property across the U.S. in addition to soil deformation. In 2018, researchers modeling the distribution of termites in a warming climate noted that 12 of the 13 species they studied could potentially expand into new regions of the world including parts of the United States, bringing their insatiable hunger for wood with them. Warmer weather may also be helping certain termite species in Florida reproduce faster. As the potential expansion of termite populations puts wood structures at possible risk, property built using reinforced concrete may face its own insidious climate challenge in the form of concrete cancer. Reinforced concrete is generally made by pouring concrete over steel rods. Should those rods get wet, they could rust and expand and potentially crack the surrounding concrete and threaten the integrity of the structure, a process some have dubbed concrete cancer. Co coastal property may be at most risk. The salt from ocean spray can accelerate rusting, while rising sea levels can raise water tables and make them saltier, 
putting reinforced concrete foundations at risk. Rising levels of carbon dioxide in the air may also contribute to concrete cancer thanks to a process called carbonation, where carbon dioxide from the air reacts with the cement to create calcium carbonate. The process can lower the pH level of the concrete, which makes steel even more prone to rust. For more information on this or any topic we're tracking, please visit us at core.verisk.com forward slash EI, E as in emerging, I as in issues. While you're there, be sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter. Thank you for listening. See you next time.